We're talking about the new creation in Christ from 2 Corinthians 5, 17 to 6, 1. And we're going to read from the Berean Standard Bible first. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting man's trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. God made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As God's fellow workers, then, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. The Kenneth S. Weiss translation. So that, assuming that anyone is in Christ, he is a creation new in quality. The antiquated, out-of-date things which do not belong to the new life in Christ Jesus have passed away. Behold, all things have become new in quality. But the aforementioned all things are from God as a source, the one who reconciled us to himself through the intermediate agency of Christ and gave to us the ministry whose work is that of proclaiming the message of this reconciliation, namely that absolute deity in Christ was reconciling the world of sinners to himself, not putting down on the liability side of their ledger their trespasses, and lodged in us the story of reconciliation. Therefore, on behalf of Christ and in his place, we are acting as ambassadors, as though God were saying, I beg of you, please, through us as intermediate agents, we beg you in Christ's stead, be reconciled at once to God. He who did not know sin in an experiential way, on behalf of us and instead of us, was made the representative of sin in order that, as for us, we might become a righteousness of God in him. Moreover, also, we, working together with God, beg of you not to receive the grace of God without salutary result. So just pulling out some words from that scripture, creature or creation, that we are a new creation or a new creature in Christ. Definitions are creation and creature, building, always of divine work. It can be the act or the product, but in this case, it would be the product of the divine word of God to finish us completely as a new creation. So I just was thinking God created us in our mother's wombs, but now we are born again, brand new, completely finished the product of the divine work of God, the divine word of God, the divine work of God, that we just thank you, God, that your divine work has completely given us a new creation, a new spirit. We are brand new. Where it says new things have come, that word in Strong's is, I come into being, am born become, come about, happen. So from that, I've come in to being new, as in the old's gone. I've just always been this way now. Now, like I'm not that old person. I'm born 
new. It's not that I just changed a little bit or part way. We always say that we're born again, but do we really believe that? I think as we look the same on the outside and we can act the same, we don't really think it all the way through, but because we have a spirit, soul and a body, and it's just our soul that's recreated. That's why our body looks the same and we can act the same or we can act being led from our spirit. So our spirit is reborn completely new as if the old were never there before. So let's just kind of really take that in. We have a completely new nature. We are reborn completely. That old spirit that didn't know God, that didn't follow God, that didn't know the word of God, that wasn't led by the spirit, maybe even knew some of the word of God, but didn't really take it into their heart and receive it. That old spirit, that sin nature, that spirit that was sinner by nature is gone. We are no longer sinner by nature. So we can't call ourselves a sinner. That's no longer our nature. We are a born again believer, full of the righteousness of Christ Jesus in our spirit. As a born again believer, we can sin sometimes as an action, but our nature is not sinner. So we can't call ourselves sinner. That would actually be against the word of God because it would be not accepting what Jesus gave us as this new creation. Jesus took on all sin so that we could live unto righteousness. So let's receive that. So repeat after me. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. That old sinner nature is gone, right? That old sinner nature is gone. I am born anew. I am born anew, full of the spirit of Jesus, full of the spirit of Jesus. So that phrase, I'm a sinner saved by grace, was true for us in the past. We were sinners by nature. Our actual nature was sinner and we were saved by the amazing grace of God but it really is our past dead and buried with Christ and rose again and now we are new creations by the grace of God set free from a sin nature I feel like that's all that needs to be said but I'll keep going so um, it says having reconciled us to himself. So, uh, the reconciled is I change, exchange, reconcile down to an exact point, intensifyingly, properly, decisively change as when two parties reconcile when coming or changing to the same position. So we've been reconciled to God through Christ. And that means We've been properly and de decisively changed until we have come into the same position as Christ, not through our own doing or our own strength, but through the sacrifice of Jesus because of his great love for us. But now our newly created spirit gets to be one with Christ Jesus. You can look at 1 Corinthians 6, 17 to see that. And it's just... Yeah, we, we have been reconciled to God through Christ. That's who we are now, this new creation. And um, we've been given a ministry of reconciliation of others to Christ. And um, being given is offer, give, put, place, give, bestow, commit, grant. It's really been given to us in this ministry uh, it in Strong's, it can be like waiting at a table, you know, like a server, but in a wider sense, service, ministration, and ministry, active service done with willing, voluntary attitude. And for the believer, ministry specifically refers to spirit empowered service guided by faith. So we have been given this 
ministry where we get to choose to accept this ministry position that is spirit empowered. We get to serve people empowered by the Holy Spirit and guided by faith. And we know that faith without works is dead. So it's just our belief with corresponding action we need. We get to act to share with others what Christ did for us. We get to act out of what we have been given. And that is that we are reconciled to God. So meaning we are now new and one with Christ. And we get to share that opportunity with others. It's our choice to have a willing attitude and serve others. We are ambassadors of Christ, right? Walking as his hands and feet to share with people what he did for us. And I just think, what a cool opportunity. We couldn't do that with a sin nature as sinners. We are new creations in Christ. So, and it says, we we beg you in Christ's stead in the Weiss translation, or in Christ's stead. So we are going in Christ's place and through on account of, because of, so we have the ability to reconcile people to Christ only through the power of Christ. And we are sharing the gospel on account of Christ and because of the love of Christ that we might become ambassadors of Christ all oh, because of Christ in us. So um, well, the next part is just that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. So righteousness practically means a divine righteousness, equity of character or act, especially Christian justification or righteousness, correct righteous and by implication innocent it is christ righteousness in us so we are no longer sinners again that is our old nature that that's not us anymore it's dead and buried we are the righteousness of god in christ meaning when we are those new cre creations new creatures and our spirit is one with the spirit of jesus and we walk in him we walk as the righteousness of Christ Jesus. So repeat after me. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. In Christ, I am righteous. In Christ, I am righteous. So we just thank you, God that you did all of this for us. And the last verse, or it's the, the first verse of chapter six, as God's fellow workers, then we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. So God, we, we receive your grace as new creations. Help us to live that way and see ourselves as these new creations and, and, die to that old sin nature that is not us it is dead and gone and buried and we rose born anew with you as new creations in christ thank you lord help us just remember all that you've done for us and also to share it with others amen